Why animal foods are unhygienic. Meat is an unnecessary, toxic, pathogenic, and exceedingly injurious article of food. This is so because of the poisonous waste products which exist in all animal tissue, particularly after death. For several hours after it is killed, the cells of the animal's body continue to live, absorbing oxygen and food material from, and returning carbonic dioxide and toxic substances to the blood. The excretion of these waste products through the ordinary channels is then no longer possible. These remain in the venous blood that saturates the flesh. It is these toxic excreta in meat, chemically identical with, and having the same odor as urine, which are dissolved in beef tea and broth, and which give it its characteristic taste. When they are washed away, leaving only the protein fibers of the flesh, which is the only possible nourishment in meat, this food is tasteless. It is, therefore, these toxins which the meat eater craves. When they are absent, meat loses its charms. Meat is a heart stimulant. The poisonous toxins which it contains act directly upon the heart. This is demonstrated by the fact that the average heartbeats of a vegetarian are 58 to the minute, while those of a meat eater are 72. 1,500 extra heart strokes every 24 hours result in a very appreciable strain upon the vital forces. Meat eating thus causes high blood pressure, heart disease, hardening of the arteries, and premature senility. It is a physiological fact that the intestines of man, like those of other frugivorous animals, are four times the length of the intestines of carnivorous animals. Those of the latter, besides being short, have a smooth interior lining to ensure the rapid passage and assimilation of their putrescible contents. The human intestines, on the other hand, are convoluted, as are those of animals which live on vegetable foods. When meat is put into the long human intestines, which are designed for the slow digestion of frucivorous nutriment, it quickly ferments and decays, generating poisonous toxins which are carried by the blood throughout the body, leading to a great number of diseases. While the blood of the carnivorous animal is practically free from uric acid, that of the herniverous man is invariably saturated with it. Uric acid causes rheumatism, gout, and kidney diseases. That meat is not a natural food for man is shown by the fact that the instinctive pleasure with which the animal kills its prey is normally foreign to his nature, as also is that derived from eating warm, raw flesh dripping with blood. Meat generally has to be cooked, salted, and seasoned in order to disguise its origin. After observing the slaughter of an animal, one loses one's appetite to eat it. It is only because economical conditions force certain individuals to spend their lives on such brutalizing work that others eat as much meat as they do. The craving for meat is not due to its nourishing, but to its stimulating properties. Meat, like alcohol, is in a state of bacterial fermentation. This decay, though it may be inhibited by cold storage or chemicals, proceeds at an accelerated rate as soon as it enters the warm intestine. The toxins thus generated, by their stimulating effect upon the heart, create the illusion that meat gives strength. Meat not only has a similar physiological effect as has alcohol, but as Myatrelink in his Buried Temple points out, it causes a desire for liquor. A mild stimulant, frequently repeated, loses its effect, and a stronger one is sought. Meat eating thus leads to smoking, drinking, drug addiction, and sex perversion. As a result of its irritating effect upon the genital organs, meat leads to masturbation among children and sex excess among adults. What has been said about meat equally applies to fowl, fish, and eggs, all of which are unnatural and unhealthful foods. Chicken and eggs are powerful sex, stimulants particularly when eaten by children for the hen's life is continuously absorbed in sex activity and the egg is an ovarian product. The word fowl is phonetically correct, fowl, for the chicken is a filthy creature which feeds on worms, grasshoppers, flies, and other insects. Eggs, no matter in what way they are prepared, are extremely indigestible. Milk after the period of weaning is an unnecessary and unnatural food. Cow's milk is chemically unfit for human consumption. The large curds which it forms are unable to pass through the delicate intestinal wall, upon which they deposit as a greasy adhesive coating, which interferes with digestion. Milk, after the period of weaning, is an unnecessary and unnatural food. Cow's milk is chemically unfit for human consumption. The large curds which it forms are unable to pass through the delicate intestinal wall, upon which they deposit as a greasy adhesive coating, which interferes with digestion. Cream, because of its higher concentration of large fat globules, is still more constipating. Butter is an over-concentrated fat which does not form healthy tissue. Instead, it oozes out from the skin, yielding a perceptible odor. Fermented cheeses, since they are in a state of bacterial decay, are, 
like meat, very injurious. 